so you'd like to know how to crop an image down in Cricut Design Space. Now this is really, really simple. Um, even as a beginner, you can get to grips with this in minutes. So what you're going to want to do is pull your image into your design space. Now I'm just using the most simple image that I could find. This is from a craft stash um, downloadable SVG, part of a package. Uh, it's just some blades of grass. I'd just like to make this a little bit shorter and it's so simple. So I've pulled this into my um, canvas here. I've made it nice and large so I can see what I'm doing. I can of course shrink this down again later. Now what you're going to want to do is also add in a shape. Now this shape will uh, determine where your cut line in your cropped image is going to be. So if a square is suitable, then use a square. It may be that something like a triangle or a circle might actually suit your shape better. So like I say, a square is fine for me. I'm going to enlarge this and just bring it over the area that I want to hide, that I want to crop away. Now you need to drag and select both of these images. So your SVG file um, and also your shape over the top. If you are completely new to Cricut Design Space, we do have a beginner's tutorial available on our channel for you to go and watch, which talks about things like selecting items, grouping, ungrouping, and things like that. So go check that out if need be. With both items selected, I'm going to come down to the bottom right hand corner and there's a slice button. When you hit slice, that is going to detach the area that has been concealed by the shape. So you're now going to have your grey outline, your grey uh, blades of grass that you don't want, and also your green blades of grass that you don't want detached from the area that you do want. We can now drag and select all of this and we can just hit delete on our computer keyboard and here we go. We've now got our blades of grass much smaller. This is great if you're doing something like a diorama card or a scene and you just want small areas rather than large. And of course you could copy and paste these and have lots of little bits. Now, moving on to a slightly different technique. If you have a very complicated shape such as this one, I here would like to remove the R and just use the bouquet of flowers. Now that's going to be quite difficult. Um, so what I'm going to do is highlight everything and make sure it's all ungrouped. We don't want it grouped here. And then you want to select your image and do contour on the bottom right hand corner. When you click contour, you have the option to hide um, and leave unhidden elements of that design. So I am going to select the main shape, the R, but also the inside of the R here because I'm not going to want that. And you can see areas do actually end up disappearing as you click on them, which is really helpful. So this is just this one layer and I'm going to just cross here and you can see that I am then left with just my florals. Now, of course, I can uh, resize these and I can move them around. And I can now use just those on a project if I wish. Now, if you're looking for how to slice shapes out of other shapes, much like this, so you can see we've taken the A out of the center of the heart there. There's a fantastic video on our channel talking about both slicing and welding in Cricut Design Space. Now Craftstash have just launched a fantastic own brand range of electronic cutting machine tools. This includes some different grip mats, um, a vinyl scrap collection tool, which is just so helpful, and their toolkit, which includes scissors, tweezers, spatulas, a weeding tool, and of course, this scraper for taking the residue off your mat. Also helpful, you can find all the details by following our link just here. And if you want to find those other videos, have a look in this playlist just here.